now that the emulator has loaded once we click the button you can see that our dice appears and it starts to go into different dice numbers by using the concepts of random and image view we will create our dice roller let's roll in what I'm gonna do first is move this to the side so I can have more space the next thing we're gonna do is go to activity main right here I'm gonna let it load up I'll speed it up so you don't have to wait so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna leave the text view here and I'm gonna put some words in it I want the the user to know what's going to happen and the way we do this is to go to text I'm going to remove the hello world you personally you can put whatever you want but this is just what I'm going to put I'm going to put dice roller it seems a little small so I'm gonna make the text size big and to do this you just type text size and Android Studio will already automatically complete it for you I'm gonna make it 28 SP this should be big enough I'm gonna move it right here another thing I'm going to do is add an image view this will show our dice so I'm gonna add it right here and I'm, you can pick anything you want but I'm just gonna pick avatars right here I'm gonna set the constraint put it right here make sure it goes back and then I'm gonna constrain it horizontally and I'll put it back in the middle another component I'm going to use is a button I'm gonna take the button from right here and put it right here some people may like to use the split view but I like to use design view because I can just take the components and put it on the board right away but if you want to use split view that is fine I'm gonna put it to the bottom right here and I'm gonna leave it like this that should be great now that we have everything let's head back over to mainactivity.java the first thing we're gonna do is initialize so I'm gonna have text view Wait, no, no. we're not gonna use text view we're not gonna need it so let's forget about that we're gonna initialize image view and button I'm going to start with image view Just right here and image view I'm going to have button let me make this capital Button, button. And now what I'm going to do is go back to activity main and give the components an ID. The reason I'm giving them an ID is because this is what makes Android Studio knows what I want to do with them. An example, if you're going out to a store and you have your friend with you, you can't just say, hey, can you come here? You have to call one of your friends by their name. For example, hey, Clark. Can you come here? Hey Ryan, can you do this for me? That's basically what an ID does. So I'm gonna just give it dice because the dice will be here. And for button, oh, it wants me to refactor it. Basically what this does is just, it sets it in stone. It's gonna be dice because I'm changing the ID. It was once image view, now it's dice. Now for button, I'm just going to leave the ID as it is. So now I'm just going to set them to their respective IDs. I'm going to put image view equals find view by ID. R dot ID and the ID that you gave it. I'm sorry, put a dot, not a comma. And I know I gave it dice. So I'm going to put dice button we're gonna do the exact same thing r dot id and the id that you gave it we gave it button or whatever id you gave it which is fine but just make sure right here you put the id that you gave it now 
to be able to make our dices go from because in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make it go from one to five in a random one to five we need to have a random number so it can tell if it goes to one three five two one again and to do this we'll use the Android studio random class to bring this out we'll have random you can name it whatever you want I'm going to call it Ray R A H Ra equals new random parentheses closing tab now I want you guys to find whatever dice picture you can because we're going to be needing it right here as you can see I'm choosing this I'm screenshotting every single dice one two three four five and I'm putting it in a folder which is right here see I have one two three four and five what I want you to do is I want you to copy all of them all of your dices copy them once you copy them go back to Android studio we're gonna open our res drawable we're gonna left click drawable then we're gonna right click it and then we're gonna select paste we're gonna click OK OK and then look our dice photos are here if you double click you can see we have our dice photos so what we're gonna do we're gonna have to click a button so it can roll the dice and how do we do this we're gonna do button dot set on click listener we're gonna do new view dot on click listener basically this does Basically what this does is when you click the button, it does whatever you want it to do. Now, once the button is clicked, we're gonna make it go from a random number and whatever that number is, the dice are gonna be there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put random raw inside an integer. We're gonna put it in an integer. I'm gonna name it RA. You can name it whatever you like. And I'm gonna equal this to random dot excuse me, I mean raw dot next int. Since we only have five images, we're gonna do five plus one the reason we do plus one is because in programming standards you count from zero instead of one for example if you see me here I'll type it on screen zero one two three four if you count every single number here one two three four five it equals five so when we do the plus one it adds the five there now that we have it as this we're gonna do if if raw equals one we're gonna do image view image view dot set image resource to R dot drawable and the reason we put R is because our pictures are in the res folder and then once we do that we put dot drawable and the reason we have drawable is because our photos are inside the drawable folder so we're gonna go to res drawable and then we have our photos and you're gonna put dot the photo that you want we're gonna copy and paste this for all the numbers, so I'll speed it up so you don't have to wait.
photo again and just overwrite it. So what, what you would do to do that. If you're having an error with one of your photos, like when you see a red line appear here, you might need to copy that. For example, my dice number three was having red lines under it, but to fix it, copy this photo, go to drawable, right click it, paste, and then it'll ask you to overwrite it. I'll give you an example right now. I'm gonna copy this. Go to trouble, paste, click OK, dice three, we get us the same name, and it'll tell you to overwrite. It's because I did this already, so it should be fine, but for you, it should have a different outcome. Now, I'll go back to speed running it, so you don't have to wait. Now, after you finish inputting all your values, everything should be going great. I'm going to load up the emulator. If you don't know how to set up your own emulator, I will show you. have a video to show you how to do that. I'm going to load up the emulator and I'll skip to it so you don't have to wait. Now that the emulator has loaded, once we click the button, you can see that our dice appears and it starts to go into different dice numbers. Congratulations everyone. I know that you learned a lot and I hope that you do. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go on my channel and check out the other tutorials. Mass Programmer Route.